across some orang pendek tracks. They're not clear enough to uh, make casts up. You can see the depression of the heel. That's the heel at the back here. Here's another one. See the depression here. The heel at the back, front of the foot there. Heel, front of the foot. We've just had one of the most awesome experiences out in the jungle. I haven't told any of the others this yet. Dave and I have been waiting to say it for the first time when we got when we got here. What basically happened is um, myself and Dave, Sahar and Donny, who are the trackers, were moving through the jungle. I heard the movement of a very large animal and I told everyone to stop. And at that point, Sahar and Dave went slightly ahead while Donny and I moved around to the side. And then I'll let Dave take over. Right, from then on, Sahar said, I can see something, there's something up in the tree there, something up in the tree. And I was looking around. I could hear gibbons in the background, but they were a long way off. You know, I looked out around and he kept pointing and I couldn't see and I said, well, I've got this laser this laser pen and I said point if I point in this laser pen put it out and he, he held my hand until he got the point and I looked and I looked down there hanging on the side of the tree was an ape the size of a chimpanzee dark holding on the side like that we didn't take a picture because we because it was a bad you couldn't see his face his head was out there his, his hands were hidden behind the branch he was at this, this side you could see his, his um, buttocks there his thigh in the bottom part of his heel, up his back, and, it, and he was broad-shouldered, in, in black or dark, very dark brown, and hold, uh, holding it onto a tree like that. As we, we went round to get a better view of it, but when we got round to the other side, unfortunately it had gone maybe up, up the tree, there's a lot of thick canopy pits up in the tree, maybe he's gone up to the top of the tree, or he come down, because there was a deep ditch nearby, and dropped into the ditch and then shot off <coughs> along the ditch. Now, at that point, Sahar said, that is a Rang Pendek, that is a Rang Pendek. He was so emotional at that point, he burst into tears, he started sobbing in the jungle. I had to, we had to console him. He yeah. was, yeah, he was I, crying. I put my yeah. arm around him because he was so upset that he hadn't got a better view of it. Um, he seen a Rang Pendek for the first time in his life, and he, he was completely overwhelmed. I, he was bawling, he was crying his eyes out in the jungle, crying, wasn't yeah, he? To him, I, had, right? I, had to, I had to comfort him, as, as Dave says, because he was so upset. Um, what we did when we got there as well, is we, we, we've, we've covered over, because it's so wet now, we've covered over, we found a couple of prints, which we've covered over now, and we've also got some organics. If I just, Richard, if you just come in. This is what he was chewing. This is what the, um, this is what he was chewing, um, as he was moving. It's rattan, which the orang pendek is known to eat. We might have what we think is a hair, it could be fibrous matter, we're not sure, but we'll get these analysed. But we, and what we're absolutely certain of is that that was what he was eating. So if there's any DNA on that, then job done. Far away. Right, Dave has just found this, yeah? Now, as you can we're interested in it because it looks potentially like a Mandy Barum print. Potentially, not definitely. The thing is, it's got, it's got what looks like five potential toe indents there. It's about the same size as the alleged uh, footprints of the neighbor and it has a distinctive, what looks like a distinctive heel shape. So we're, in, we're very interested in this, and we're going to try and scan the ground. This is this is uh, the area, uh, the village area where Nelbison, who's our eyewitness here, uh, said he saw the neighbor It's not the exact location he saw it, but it's in the general vicinity, within a few kilometres. Yeah? 